guys, Boomslang here. I'm bringing you a little money making video. It's to do with crafting and you do need to be tier 5 for this. Um, it's just something to think about. You could utilize this for any other crafting. It's just dependent on, you know, what your skill is and how you take this method. So I'm buying parts instead of gathering it all myself and then combining them into the end product and then selling it for a profit. So, you know, it's not just this item. You can do this with anything, so long as the materials cost less than the end product and you're making some sort of a profit. That's the goal of the video. So take it with a pinch of salt, use it how you wish. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll show you what it is. And also I'm gonna include me handing over the million silver to the winner. Congrats, Void. Here is the one million silver. I hope he enjoys it, uses it to his full potential. And yeah, congrats, congrats to the guy that won. And, you know, I appreciate all of you supporting me, entering the contest. Um, channel's going well, it's growing. And... Yeah, I just wanted to ask you guys a question. Um, I'm reaching out to a few companies just to see if anybody, you know, would like to potentially sponsor me. I know I'm still small, but if you don't ask, you don't get. And if I was able to offer you guys different giveaways, not just, you know, anything to do with Albion, um, what you guys would think. And if you guys could, you know, let me know in the comments um, and I'll see what I can do. You know, there's something potentially coming up, but I don't want to talk about it just yet. But, um, yeah, something's coming up. And then, obviously, I still have those gold codes to give away. I will be doing them in a in a future video. I'm just going to give it a little bit of time. They're there. They're ready to go. I'll do another Gleam.io giveaway on those. So, yeah. Thanks for being with me, guys, and let's get into this video. So, basically, I am buying the tier 5 riding horse um, you want to get it for pretty much under the 60k mark really if you can so these are okay it could be better um, if you can make them yourself and you have a lot of them then this this is cool but I'm just gonna buy out as many as I can for the 60k kind of pricing. Oh, I should have bought more than that. So there we go. Another load. Uh, there. How many have we got? So we have bought 13. And I should have changed the mount. Um, technical difficulties. Bear with me. So yeah. Um... <laughs> Didn't think that one through. Um, if you're going to do this sort of method, you want to bring an ox. Um, and I just realized as I was about to attempt to walk back to the chest, I may as well just buy an ox. So, um, yeah, just get yourself an ox. Make sure that um, you have the carry capacity to do this. Don't be a fool like me and not think about these things. I was trying to be cool and have my... Uh, a black panther mount on but yeah it's not going to work so we've now got 15 the next part that we need is the necromantic elixir so yeah basically we're getting these two parts we're going to go back to my island and we're going to craft the bone horse and the bone horse i will show you the sale price in a minute um basically the necromantic part of this build you know you could spend a thousand and still make good profit so if you have your own island you know it this makes it a lot cheaper and a lot easier to do um, it doesn't cut into your profits then but obviously if you don't work this out see if it's gonna cost you more um, oh, one over see if it's gonna cost you more if you go to um, one of the shops in Caerleon. Um, what I didn't show you the bone horse there, but I'm going to 
go and make them come back and then we'll check the price then but um yeah basically what we're doing is crafting up um you go here bone horse craft your 15 and then you have a chance for them to increase in quality as well which then improves the price yet again so it's a nice little way if you if you just check the market check how much the sale of riding horses are or check the price of the main component of something else we got lucky there we got one excellent we got seven at good and seven at normal so let's go see how much these sell for but um yeah basically i'm just trying to say to you guys you know if, if you don't want to craft or you don't want to gather there are ways to make money you can craft up the way um you know there's loads of different videos on how to do it how to make money um i'm, I'm gonna put in the description um some of the guys that you know make really good content just like myself um hope you guys check them out um and yeah let's you know see if you guys can make some money so there we go 81k i spent 60k uh, say six, 61,000. you know the necromantics were like uh 400 or so so i spent 61,000 to get 80k so you know it's a nice profit margin it's not the fastest way to make money um 71k so we're still 10k up there so that's really good as well 71k again so there you go and you know the necromantics people buy them at 350 people sell them at 405 roughly um how much is the black panther 0.1 mil so in one of my other videos i was saying to keep the black panthers and sell them on because they dipped in price for a bit so the last seven days they're going up again so as i said you know there's going to be a spike there's going to be a dip you know, 26 have sold so it's an idea to to keep them and potentially sell them you could lose money well you're not losing money you're just losing time that you've invested but you know you could be losing out on that bit of profit if you wait too long if you don't sell them it it just depends really so there you go flat big spike and then it's leveling out at a mill now so i'm expecting there to be another spike another level out another spike it could go all the way down but um yeah that was that was pretty much it you know that's how i one of the flips i use probably not going to be one of the flips i use anymore based on the fact that i'm making a video on it and most of you guys end up doing the same thing but it was just to try and help you to think of another way of making money and i thought i just open up um my chest i've been a bit lazy i missed one day of 50k so technically i would have had the mount today i'm gonna do a review on it um Alish has already done a nice review he'll also be in the description so check out Alish's review and then mine will come in a few days as well but um you know it's worth doing these chests because as you can see i got lucky there with a 5.3 pentagram which is an artifact i've not seen that before um some nice mats 20k experience time 50k experience time 10k experience time uh, 100k cash and another 50k and then you get these materials um, and items as well so skyflower how much we're we gonna get for these 20k it's not bad golden crown sell for 22 each there's not much point in doing a sell order um, yeah not much point so we'll just sell them flat now this i would have thought would have sold for more i might check the black market on that and see if it's something that is required i can't remember if i presume that artifacts would go on the black market as well but let's see if we can make a bit more money from the black market for it or put a sale order up and then um that's going to be it for this video once we check the black market um it's not really much else I can add to it, just, you know, check on your crafting 
what you can make. So, you know, maybe maybe this is a good a good trade up. Maybe these parts are really cheap, and the end product of the Hellion shoes is um, expensive. You know, you could make a nice profit margin on that. Just um, whatever you guys are making, have a look at it. Can you do that? Can you make more money? Probably going to put that for about three nine nine. I don't think this is going to sell, but hey, I'll give it a shot. It's going to potentially net me more than 20k. So yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed. Um, that's going to be it for this video. Like I say, please let me know in the comments um, what you guys think. If I'm if I was able to get you know some backing from some companies or some sponsors or something that would then relate into you know being able to give you guys more stuff um, if possible. I don't want to make this like a giveaway channel, but I really do want to show my appreciation to you guys and just, you know, to say thank you for supporting me. You know, it's been a mad three and a half weeks now. So don't forget to like and subscribe if you've enjoyed. And also, if you don't have Albion Online and you just enjoy what I'm doing, but you want to try it out, I've got a link down below as well. Um, it's a referral code for me, so I'll get some in-game stuff and... I will likely give that away. Um, you know, if I get the mount from five referrals, I will put the mount up for a giveaway. And um, yeah, I want to share with you guys and make a nice community. So thank you for all of you being here. And I will catch you guys on the next one. Boom Slang out.